I think ADT has been a thorn in the side of everybody for prostate <laughs> cancer treatment. We have a lot of data from an earlier era of radiation that showed that the ADT was just critical, certainly for high risk patients, but also for some types of intermediate risk patients. It showed that ADT combined with radiation was more effective in controlling the cancer than just the radiation alone. This is a conversation that you guys have had and I have with patients. Look, I don't want ADT. I understand why you don't. But this is the data seems to be clear, at least with the type of radiation we had back then. Right, exactly. So when we were doing these trials, one of the big problems with oncologic treatment is that our trials are always in the past compared with the evolution of treatment we have. We're always one step ahead in imaging and biopsies and pathology analysis and radiation techniques. But all this fancy stuff is really not helpful unless we know what to do with it. And the only way we know what to do with stuff is by doing trial. And so it's one of these things that unfortunately what we have right now is the gold standard is randomized, randomized trials for cancer treatment. And all the randomized trials historically have shown that ADT is still necessary for certain types of treatment.